welcome back to my channel. I hope your day is going well so far. I feel like it's been forever and a day since I've actually sat down and filmed and that's because it has been. Um, the end of August, I flew out to Pennsylvania with my family to go to my cousin's wedding. I was a bridesmaid in her wedding and it was so much fun just because I got to reunite with aunts, and uncles, grandparents that I haven't seen in forever. So it was just really nice to kind of get away and relax. And then immediately after we came back, that following day, Landon started school and that was like an emotional train wreck of a day. I thought for sure I was going to have like so much time and be productive and get things done. I sat down to film and I couldn't stop crying. It was just a big mess. So now that we're finally like situated and back into our normal schedule, I decided it was time to sit down and share my August favorites with you guys. I really didn't want to skip this video, although I know it's super late, which kills me. I hate being like this late with favorites videos. But since I never film weekly favorites or anything like that, I wanted to catch you guys up on all the products that I've been loving, and I just feel like there's a ton of products. I actually kind of like dwindled down the pile a bit, and I still feel like there's quite a bit. So instead of me rambling, as I always do, let's go ahead and jump on into it. I'm going to go ahead and start off with face products first. If you guys are regulars to my channel, which I hope you are, then you would have seen these two products. And I believe my last two videos, definitely my getting ready with me video, and then I believe before that it was a haul. So these are both from Chanel, and they're actually both from the same line within Chanel. It's the Lift Lumiere. So I have, is it Lumiere or Lumiere or Lumiere? Lumiere sounds better, so that's what I'm going to go with. This is the Firming and Smoothing at Firming and Smoothing Sunscreen Fluid Makeup. I wear mine in 40 beige. And then I also have the Smoothing and Rejuvenating Eye Contour Concealer. Seriously, I love both of these. I had mentioned in that previous video that I thought I was gonna have buyer's remorse like once I got into my car, just because both of these are high-end products, so they are on the pricey side, but I have to say I'm still in love with them. I feel like they're worth every penny, especially the foundation. I've seriously been obsessed. Definitely feel like it smooths my face out and just creates a nice, awesome, like smooth, flawless finish, so I've been obsessed with this. The coverage is really nice as well, but even though it gives you nice coverage, it isn't heavy on the skin, which is always like the first thing I look for in foundations. I hate anything that's gonna feel like heavy or cakey on my skin, and this doesn't do that. So both of these have seriously been loves this past month. Sticking with face products, I kind of have like a combination product. One is more of a tool, well, is a tool, but whatever. I was digging in my bronzer graveyard of a drawer. I have so many bronzers, I don't know what it is. Foundations and bronzers and eyeshadows and lip products. What a who am I kidding? Um, basically all makeup products I'm obsessed with, but within the last couple of months, I've been obsessed with bronzers. I feel like I've picked up so many, and I completely forgot about this guy. And I think the reason is because when I first purchased it, I had accidentally ordered, yeah, I had accidentally ordered a color that was too dark for me. And so I kind of pushed it aside. It is still kind of dark, Er, I guess for like a contouring or bronzing powder. If I was a little bit tanner, I would probably be okay. Oh my gosh, I feel like in camera on the viewfinder that looks so harsh. I promise it's not in person though. Because but anyways, this is the Bobbi Brown bronzing powder in number two medium. There's light, but then I believe there's like light golden medium or something like that. That's probably the shade that I should have got. But I ended up with this one, but I have to say I have been loving it lately. It's more of kind of like a deep. I don't want to say red or orange, but it's kind of like a reddish orangey brown, but without being orange. Does that make sense? No, probably not. Basically, I love it. That's all that matters. That's why it's in this video. But the tool that I've been loving to use it with is this dual-ended bronzing brush from BH Cosmetics. It's probably more of a blush brush, actually, but I feel like it's perfect for bronzing. You have one side that's kind of angled and tapered and smaller, and then the other side that's more of a, do a flatter dome brush. I love getting this side to just kind of place the product and then going in with the other side to really buff it out. So it's nice that it's a smaller brush that you can fit into a make. What is this card doing? Okay, so I'm pretty much the most paranoid person on earth to so seeing that random truck pull into my driveway. It kind of freaked me out, especially since Keegan's not home right now. But yeah, I've been loving this combo together. Okay, and then I just have two more face products. These are both from the new Sigma Collection Steady Glow. I actually received this maybe like a week or so or a couple days before the wedding in Pennsylvania. So I popped out a couple of the products and packed them with me and I'm so glad I did because these two products I'm obsessed with. They're both shimmer creams. One is in Sultry and this is more of kind of a golden bronze color. I really like to use this with my beauty blender. I'll kind of go in with my finger first just because 
I notice um, it's not a super super wet product I feel like you kind of have to warm up that top layer to really get some of the product off so I'll go in with my middle finger first and really kind of warm up the product then dip my beauty blender in it if you guys are into that like bronzy JLo or Kardashian glow you will love this stuff I like to just kind of put it onto my cheeks and blend it out with my beauty blender I also just kind of put it like on your decollete area or your chest down the fronts of your legs and it just gives you such a pretty like sun-kissed bronzy glow. I'm pretty sure in the Steady Glow collection there were three shimmer creams. There could be four. I'm not positive. Either way, I will have a 10% off discount code down below for you guys if you guys are interested. This is what I'm wearing as my highlighter right now. I don't know how well you can see it because of course once I sit down to film, this massive cloud comes down and now my lighting isn't as great. But this is brilliant. This last one that I tell you guys, it was sultry. This one is brilliant and this is more of kind of like a pinky opal highlighter. It's absolutely gorgeous. Well, I guess I shouldn't call it just a highlighter because it definitely is like a multi-use product. You can use it as like a cream eyeshadow if you really wanted to. I guess you could put it on your lips, but I don't think this color would be that pretty on the lips. I don't know. It's a bit like metallic-y for your lips. Okay, now moving on to eyes. I feel like that's the majority of my favorites video. If you guys have been keeping up with my videos and my Instagram, you know I have become obsessed that's like putting it lightly with the ColourPop Cosmetics Super, I can never remember the exact name, Super Shock Shadows. These are basically like a gel powder hybrid cream shadow. They feel like a cream or gel in the pot, but then once you apply it onto your eyes, it kind of like turns into a powder finish. These are the most metallic, amazing shadows ever. I'm seriously so obsessed. I have an entire drawer full of them. So I'm thinking I'm gonna do like a collection or swatch video soon. I've done swatches on my arms and posted them on Instagram, but I wanna show you guys like up close the colors and everything. But these two colors, I seriously cannot get enough of. And now I'm kind of mad because the sticker of this one popped off. I feel like this one may be mittens though. Honestly, it's hard to pick a favorite because they're all that pretty. This one I wore the other day and it's called Liberty. This reminds me of like, okay, this is like the stupidest <laughs> comparison ever, but if you guys have seen this movie and this part, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, Patriot with Mel Gibson. I know, how does this get thrown into a beauty video? But the part when he's like melting those little metal figurines to make those like little silver bullet BB balls. Like, do you remember how like crazy silver metallic it was in that little spoon? That's what Liberty looks like, plus the name is patriotic. So I don't know, it all just kind of went together in my brain. This silver shadow is like the only silver shadow you need in your life. It is so metallic, it is so silver, it is so just like, gorgeous. It looks absolutely amazing. I think I'm going to do a tutorial with it soon. And then the other color here, like I said, I think it's called Mittens, but I forget the name and the sticker somehow fell off of this one. That's weird. But this is like the prettiest kind of like rich chocolate, almost like slightly burgundy brown. Once again, another metallic finish. This looks gorgeous all over your lid. And then if you just continue to like really blow it out with a fluffy crease brush, I went in and applied this all over my lid. And then I took Coco Bear from Makeup Geek and just kept like smoking it out. It was the prettiest brown smoky eye. I seriously can't get enough of these shadows. And at $5 a piece, plus after you buy, I believe six, yeah, like after you spend $30, it's free shipping. But seriously, you can't go wrong with these. Like after you just put one in your cart, you're gonna wanna put a million more. Do yourself a favor, go check out the website. I promise you'll fall in love. No, it's not sponsored. I'm just that obsessed with it. And then the next favorite I have here is a palette from Coastal Sense. This is the Revealed 2 palette. You get 20 eyeshadows and I believe it's $20. So you're kind of, or $19.99, yeah, so basically $20. I will say though, there's definitely some hits and misses in here. The matte shadows in this palette and the satin ones are absolutely amazing, but there's a couple in here that are really gritty and just kind of like meh. Like I would rather than just like not even be in this palette because then they just create a mess. But the like hits in this palette make it totally worth it. In particular, this color here, this gorgeous kind of like deep, deep cranberry is absolutely gorgeous. It's fully matte. This looks amazing in your crease or outer corner. Also this black, I don't know what it is about it. Like on your finger, it just looks like a normal jet black, kind of like matte carbon. But applied to your eyes, I feel like it's a really nice black shadow that you like allows you to build up. It's not something that's just like stark black immediately. You can really like kind of create like a really smoky, smoky, like 
dusty black or build it up to something as black as this. And of course, what would a favorites video be without mentioning at least a couple Makeup Geek shadows? If you guys didn't know, Makeup Geek's probably hands down my favorite brand when it comes to eyeshadows. Peach Smoothie is one that I wear every single day or I guess every single day that I wear makeup. It's the most beautiful crease or transition color. It blends any color out flawlessly. I'm seriously obsessed. That's this one here, but I've talked about this one so many times but I feel like I can never talk about Makeup Geek Shadows without mentioning Peach Smoothie. So I feel like I normally always mention Peach Smoothie and Cocoa Bear. But recently, I've become super obsessed with Chickadee. It's kind of like if Peach Smoothie and Cocoa Bear had like a lighter skinned baby, it would be Chickadee. It's just a really nice kind of like more of a matte orangey color, but it's so, so pretty. Now, a color that is kind of newer to me that I just, I don't know, I didn't use that often before, but this month I've been using like crazy is Cosmopolitan. This is a gorgeous kind of like rose gold coppery color. This looks amazing all over your lid. This with Cocoa Bear and Chickadee is seriously so, so pretty. Then the final shadow I have here is from NARS. This is one of the dual intensity eyeshadows. I'm probably butchering this name. I used this in my Copper Smoke Getting Ready With Me video. I believe it's called Desdemona. This shadow is everything. It looks amazing, wet or dry. It's just a gorgeous kind of like copper or burgundy color, maybe even kind of plum. I don't know, like I feel like I know my colors, but when it comes to describing an eyeshadow that has like that much dimension, it's just hard to describe. This color though is absolutely gorgeous on your lid and then just smoked out with some other colors, but Oh, seriously, so obsessed with this one, especially if you use Chanel New Moon on top of it. It's seriously everything. <laughs> okay, and then moving on to my favorite lip combination is actually what I have on my lips right now. So for, I guess, the base bottom color, I'm wearing the Bite Beauty lipstick in, whoops, the other side, Violet. This is just the little dual-ended one that comes with Violet and Palomino. It was a good way to test the products out, and a little bit of these do go a long way. So I have Violet on the bottom, and then on top of it, just to kind of give it more of a creamier, pinky look, I went in with the Sigma Lip Vex in the shade Chill Out, which is like a cool tone toned blue based Barbie pink. These two together look amazing. I feel like this one on its own on my lips is just almost too much of like a milky pink. I just don't like it with my skin tone. But them mixed together looks absolutely amazing. Then I'm gonna go ahead and finish off this favorites video with skincare. Murad is a newer line to myself just because I'm pretty picky when it comes to skincare. I usually stick to Korean skincare lines like Iope or Laneige. Those are just tried and true for me. But I recently tried Murad and I can only say good things. I'm seriously so impressed by them so far and I've already tried several products from different I guess lines within the brand so the first one I have here is from the pore reform line which there's probably another product I should have shared in this video but I will save that for another video I'm thinking about doing an updated skincare routine just because I've tried so many Murad products lately that I've like already fallen in love with so this one is the skin smoothing polish this is just a great Maybe not every day, maybe like two to four times a week exfoliator. I have dry cheeks, so with that I get annoying and dry like flakes on my cheeks and I don't want anything that's too abrasive that ends up almost feeling like my skin is irritated and scratch at the end, but I want something that is gritty enough to where it does buff that away and I feel like this is like the perfect happy medium. The other product that I've been obsessed with is from the Age Reform line and this is like the step two. Within the different lines, I believe there's like cleanse, treat, and then moisturize or hydrate, something like that. So in the age reform line, this is the step two treat slash repair, and this is the complete reform with glyco firming complex. I feel like this has worked miracles on my skin. It's supposed to like firm and smooth your skin, but I feel like it's definitely kind of just like smooth my skin texture. I had weird small bumps that were under the skin. I don't know if it was like cystic acne because they were really, really small, but I could just feel them like when I pushed down on my skin. And no matter what I used, I couldn't get rid of those little bumps. And I feel like after three weeks of using this stuff, the texture of my skin like dramatically improved. I feel like it's a lot smoother. I don't really know if it's firmer, but it's definitely like smoother. Yeah. And I feel like my skin tone has evened up a ton as well. Along with that age reform line, I've been using the, what is it? Is it like Environment Shield? It's the products that have like the Rapid Age Spot Remover and Brightening Serums, which I'm all for. I love those. So I feel like this in conjunction with those products have just made my skin tone look way more bright and even. So 
Thank you, Murad. If you guys haven't tried anything from Murad before, I would definitely recommend going to Sephora and getting a couple samples, especially of this skin smoothing polish. I feel like everyone could use like a good exfoliator in their life just to kind of buff away any like dry skin flakes you may have left over, and I just feel like this does such a great job of doing that. So yeah, I think that's pretty much all of my favorites from the month of August. Once again, I'm so sorry this video was delayed, but hopefully we'll be getting back into a normal filming schedule now that I'm not like a blubbering mess that Landon's in preschool now, which is so crazy. Also, keep an eye on my Instagram and Twitter. Also on here, probably in this video, I will be announcing the winner of that favorite lip lip products giveaway, I was going to say lip picks, lip products giveaway that will be announced as well. Thank you guys all so much for everyone who entered that. I think there were like over 80,000 entries, which is totally awesome. Definitely makes me want to start doing more giveaways for you guys because it's always nice to have an excuse to shop, even if it's for other people, because who doesn't like buying presents? But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.